Manu Ginobili, basketball genius. Nobody I ever watched this side of Michael Jordan competed as hard night after night, dribble after dribble. He was right there with Jordan in just relentless competitive desire and nature. He was the heart and soul of those San Antonio dynastic Spurs, especially of the early 2000s. And in this case, every night he would pull off some play where I'd say, I, I don't know if I've ever seen that before. And shot after big shot, game after game, he kept Golden State from- An NBA champion, an Olympic champion. His game was clever, he was thoughtful. Other than that time, he caught a bat, just grabbed it flying around, as you do. Was he the first Spur you thought of during this run of sustained excellence? No, but would they have had it without him? Again, no. And the Spurs, Manu Ginobili is a free agent and says he will take three to four weeks to decide on if he will retire. Max, how will you remember him? As an unselfish superstar. I mean, he accepted a role Absolutely. off the bench on a great team and helped make them greater. It obscured his stats. But other than MJ, Kobe, and Wade, what two guard you definitely take over Manu if you're trying to win a championship? He's right there with us. Perhaps this is the end for him. Uh, somebody I grew up watching, an amazing competitor. Even more fun playing against him. You know, I got nothing but love and respect for him. And he wears my shoes every year, too. So that's and now the apology, I love Manu. He's one of the, the favorite guys that I ever had a chance to suit up with. The 57th selection in the 1999 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Emmanuel Ginobili from Argentina. Hey. I'm anxious to see what the guys we've added can do. Manu Ginobili, supposedly he's he's a great find. He's, he's the best player in Europe, supposedly. The NBA for the rookie. I knew ahead of time that there would be some basketball play that would both amaze me and frustrate me at the same time. Manu, back to green. Miss Ginobili, they find him now, for three! It's deflected, it's back to Splitter, Ginobili will try again, Splitter runs down, another offensive rebound, it's a bottle, what a pass! Throw it high up the glass, where it hits the rim, and your guy has a chance to get it, and Manu makes it, that's the Spurs. And Ginobili, lots of contact, puts it up, oh, he puts it in, at half court, Ginobili nails it! And a huge with the room service bucket. Almost. Wow, we blew it. <laughs> nah, and I faked the shot. But knowing that I wasn't going to take it, we had a full possession. And I looked at him and I saw him jumping, I'm not LeBron James style. He, he, he jumped this high. <laughs> and, you know, I stop and throw it to Tony. And I saw the whole bench. It's like this. The most unique special players the league has ever seen. Oh, that is just pretty. They should have counted that after that move. Is another one of your rules? Yeah, when a 39-year-old nutmeg somebody, it's a three point. You did. You were tough. You were tough. When you drove. Andy, that he's not going to double team. He's like. At some point in that first year or two years or third year or whatever it might have been, I said, why do you do that? Why? What are you? What are you? He goes, my mother, this is what I do. And from that day on, we pretty much let him do what he does. He wants to do it, we'll let him go. Turning and facing against a bigger player. Oh, Ginobili with a steal. He picked Jefferson's pocket and stuffed it. Ginobili, Jackson, a triple. Got it! I think he wants to go to New Jersey his first game of the year and play against Jason Kidd. You know, all the rhetoric that went with Jason Kidd possibly coming here. The chance to be that play by Mono Ginobili, a second year player, who put up a dazzling shot right into the teeth of Shaq's defense. He is a slasher, a cutter, and he is fearless. And that's your answer. Well, I didn't expect him to shoot the ball as well as they have, and this guy right here has been for this might be his coming out party. Ginobili for three. Oh, Ginobili. Ginobili trying to squirm his way free. Cross the lane. Shot. Line for Mono Ginobili. I'm really shocked. Newton's got six.
muscles for the recovery. This guy is one of the fiercest competitors in this league. Ginobili only know how to play one way, and that's hard. I mean, he's fearless. And plus, Matt New can finger roll. So, you know, I'm kind of... I'm kind of liking Manu, you know? <laughs> Two seconds remaining, Ginobili. Down count if it goes. Oh, Ginobili fights it! Right. <laughs> Ginobili with the steal. And Ginobili all alone down the other end. They put the ball right into the corner, and then as they track down, they go away from Robert Boris. You know, you know. That ball is fighting Duncan. Ginobili drives all the way in to score. It was around Ben Wallace who came in underneath. And he puts it in to tie it at 55. Hey, no way, no way could Ben Wallace help on that situation. It's 113 a game against Golden State. Oh, what a feed! Ginobili to Parker. The Spurs putting on a show. Parker to Bowen. Ginobili for three. It's good. Manu Ginobili from downtown. Again, Cavs don't have to time out, so they have to keep it down the floor. Ginobili puts on the finishing touches. The Cavs will just inbound. With 1.9 remaining, Marshall throws it down. David Jones fires away. And there's a Duncan is coming for Blair. Duncan feeds to How about Duncan? Oh, oh, oh. There's one kind of beautiful How about Ginobili with the okie doke under the yeah. arm. Kevin Garnett looked under his arm, and next thing you know, Ginobili laid it in. Oh, man, that was a heck of a move by that Mono. Ginobili the other way. Mono fires for three. Yeah, Mono! <laughs> Takes it to the basket. Duncan, a three-pointer. Puts it up. And it's good. Will the Spurs go for a three this possession? Tony Allen. Ball loose. Tony Allen knocked it away. Another deflection. Still deflected. Ginobili steps behind the arc. The three for the tie is in. They're going to review whether it's a two or a three. Ginobili for three. Yes. Mono Ginobili. Effective. Go to the basket for Bosch. He has their only points here in this third quarter. Mills, bang! <laughs> Rebound, Leonard. His ninth board of the game. Leonard pushes out to Ginobili. Puts it in! What an avalanche from San Antonio. A 21-point lead. Got that lead and said, well, this is ours. And with the same group. It was so satisfying. And I felt like, like something was still stuck in my leg from last year. And I felt like, you know, I, I healed. The San Antonio Spurs are the world champions. I love playing with Mano. I think whether it's the style of play or, or um, understanding each other's games is someone that I really um, feed off of. Four to three, got it. How about the effort from Manu Ginobili? He is one of the best. He might be my favorite player all time now because he's, he's, he's so fun to, to play with as far as the game is uh, so much easier. You know, he finds the way to make these crazy passes and when he makes the great passes, it's, it's unbelievable. Just together. Pop says it about you all the time. You're the ultimate competitor. You want to get it done. 
and you, you trust yourself above anybody else. So sometimes you take it upon yourself to get it done. Manu all the way in, left hand slam. We get to a situation like this where we got teammates where you trust that everybody's going to make the unselfish play and the right play. Well, that's what translated into the end result. So for the rebound, Manu, he wants three. Give it to him! Ginobili behind the back of the bounce. Something that you used to do there. Uh, Fantastic Durant. pass by Ginobili. Great cut. Fundamentals, hard cut. Because the position helps Anderson. Here's Harden. Ginobili's on him. He's got oh, shot. What a play by Ginobili. Knocked it away. San Antonio wins in overtime. It was his defense that came up big. The block shot on James Harden. From behind, well-timed, well-positioned. Give me Manu Ginobili with the ball in his hands at the end of any game. Ginobili for the lead. Oh, he could Jefferson defending for the lead. Good! Offensive foul. Wipe it away. Will not count. No time. Here's Ginobili for three. <laughs> Moving up my list, and that's AK 47. That's Kurlinko because we just saw. Oh, Ginobili! Well, I'm gonna tell you, he's number seven right now. Oh my god! Ginobili! <laughs> Ginobili! <laughs> Leonard, played by Westbrook. Ginobili for three! Yes! One point lead for San Antonio. Steve, you know the San Antonio. <laughs> Screened by Aldridge, goes on Capella. Shot clock at five, the scoop of the score! What a play, Ginobili! Right side of the floor, that Duncan hit. Puts it on the floor, lays it off to Ginobili. The two on the clock! Huge! How do you describe your time? Well, Manu, myself, you know, Westbrook, we all played with that very, very high, high motor. We just... That's what we were born with. Ron is uh, one of the all-time great competitors and, and winners, obviously, and uh, he helped us do it again tonight. Because he had to worry about Duncan. Ron who starts in, all the way in. That was so clever. He hesitated his dribble, and as soon as he saw daylight out, that was an explosion. He attacked that rim. Gets it out to Simmons. Ginobili slashes and tries! How can that man at 39 get that high and slam so hard? He's turning back the hands of time right here. Nice finish with the right, but more importantly, the reaction from the Spurs bench. So many different ways, and he, like you said, has been in the paint, and there's Manu at the buzzer. Manu Ginobili. A little Manu magic before the break. Here's Ginobili for three. It's the Manu Trace with 1.2 seconds. I want to thank Manu Ginobili <laughs> for last night making the two huge shots that stopped the bleeding at 22 to 6. And then, then for posterizing Chris Bosch. MVP chance from the crowd. Manu into the front court. He'll drive it inside. Manu all the way in. Left hand slam. Wow. Manu. That is why you do the voodoo that you do so well. And the Spurs on a 14-0 run. Manu. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Ginobili. Here in the Western Conference Finals. But one of my favorite people. Uh, a friend for life. And uh, an absolute Hall of Famer. Rick. He's Manu Ginobili. All the way. Oh! the block of the year this is Kevin Durant the NBA's leading scorer get that back get that out of here I don't care who you are right now you're not number one you're number two
home games than any player he'd ever been around. And you put him with Tony Parker and Tim Duncan, the winningest trio in NBA history. Well, Kyle Anderson going to come in. And coming in for Manu Ginobili. I'm so proud of being part of this team, this franchise, and this town. I love it. 